Community and citizen science is getting the public, aka non-scientists, involved in the scientific process. We really specifically talk about both citizen science and community science because we're talking about not just sort of the standard volunteer scenario, but also community-based organizations and community groups. I think when we engage young people in the process of collecting that information, uh, they have a, a stronger connection to it. And then once you move beyond that to either synthesis or analysis of any sort, um, they're a little bit more invested and bought in. All kinds of fabulous things can happen. One, hopefully they're learning science by actually doing it and not reading about other people doing it. So they get the thrill of discovery. They also learn that they can make a contribution that's valuable to somebody other than themselves and other than their teacher. You can see um, the looks on their faces and the interactions that start happening and the questions they start asking. Uh, it's really powerful seeing those kind of relationships build and, and maybe seeing themselves as scientists later in their life through those interactions with real life scientists. It also can help promote environmental stewardship. If you have a connection with the natural world, in studies that show like what made a difference when you're an adult, spending time outside was one of those critical factors with a mentor. From the perspective of scientists like me, it's also a way to crowdsource the collection of data. This is about trying to engage the public in the process of collecting data so that they better understand the process of science. I've seen a huge um, increase in engagement with students when they're actually out in the field and they're collecting data that's part of a bigger project as opposed to just something that they're doing sort of for their own purposes in the classroom. One of the things that really was evident very quickly was how engaged my lowest academically performing students got so quickly because their observations were important. Their knowledge was validated. By empowering them, has given them confidence across other subjects as well.